Good evening. I hope you are all doing well. Hope you have had a fantastic week. Uh, before I get into this, if you would please take just a moment, stop, stop what you're doing and hit the like and subscribe button for me. I would very, very much appreciate it. And uh, thank you in advance. Um, so I learned a little something yesterday about posting the other video of my live trades. And that is if I don't trim them down and don't get rid of the in between, well, that's not a great video for you guys to watch. And my apologies for that. Uh, I am no video master, but I'm going to get better at it. So today I captured all of my live trades besides last night and in the European market this morning. Uh, I captured everything from the market open uh, from the morning session. And without further ado, uh, let's get into this. Before I start, all of these trades are to the downside. They're all short term. As a matter of fact, it's like been my bear narrative this week to go short. So any pop-up that has happened, for the most part, I've short. Um, it's it's worked for me. I know that will, will catch up and bite me at some point because at some point the market is going to be like, okay, we've gone low enough and we're going to go up. And there is no, there is no retest. We are just going to go up. <laughs> Uh, but until that happens, I'm going to keep doing what has been working for me. Uh, so, and here we go. I don't, I don't know what time. Uh, this is 8.40 in the morning. Uh, so, pops up, go short. Um, at some point in here, I realize that I am not on the account that is linked and tethered together. I was on a uh, wrong account. I don't know if it's in these first set of trades or the next set of trades, but uh, yeah, well, it was. See, because <laughs> at some point I look at the PL and my PL isn't moving. I'm like, what is the deal here? So, uh, a note if you guys use Quan Tower to always go back up and not only check that you're on the, um, the master account, the gatekeeper account is the way that I call it. Um, but that you go back and check and make sure that the slave accounts are actually doing what they're supposed to. There's been a lot of times where I'll enter in and exit out of a trade and it is still, it, it'll show it done on the gatekeeper account, but the slave accounts haven't, haven't done that. So you'll be uh, going long when you should be out of a trade or you'll be going short when the market's going up. And that is very, very frustrating. But uh, here you go. Here is a, um, a wedge pattern that I shorted. Um, again, not, not the best entries, but um, I, I made it work today. So this is two days in a row. You get to see exactly how I trade. Uh, this is almost like being looked at and being naked when you don't want to be. It's very, very, you're getting a very personal view of Russ Miller. <laughs> it's the, the inner workings of the brain at work here. So, um, yeah, it's a very, you know, trading is a very personal thing. Uh, I know the naked analogy might might or might not be funny, but it really is like that. You're getting to see a very vulnerable personal part of um, something that I am incredibly, incredibly passionate about. So there's not very many people who get to see me do this until now. Now the freaking world gets to see it. So uh, yeah, and it's something I'm actually really uh, proud about as well if you can't tell i'm a very proud person in, in general if i put my time and effort into something i want it to be something that i look back on after the fact and be like yeah i freaking did that that was all me i did that and uh this is no exception to that it's a a work for me it is something that i put time into effort into 
Yeah, anyway, yeah. Uh, but I will tell you, sitting here watching yourself trade, though, you're like, dude, why why are you doing that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. But again, it's the same, it's the same narrative. There, there's a point here towards the end of the video where I pan out and I'm looking at the, uh, the spy chart and I will pause it and give a, my synopsis of, of that here in a minute. Um, but again, see this wedge pattern that has formed, right? We are rising wedge up, um, and then it reaches the top and it falls back off. Uh, that pattern repeats itself today over and over and over again uh, until it doesn't. Um, and right here, I, I probably should have gone long here at the bottom uh, as this breaks out. I've really stopped trading the breakouts. I get burned so many freaking times trading the breakouts. Uh, where it used to be, that was where I made all of my money at. I hate it shorting. I wouldn't go short. Be like, that's a whole nother video, a whole nother conversation. But I hate it, the idea of going short. <laughs> and now uh, that's pretty much all I do is go short. So even when it's going up, I'll still go short. Like right now, it's going up, right? Um, it's just mentally easier for me to go short. And it's uh, that analogy... Or that saying that the, the the bulls take the stairs, the bears take the elevator. This is actually what I was going to want to show you right here. So we, you see we have sold down. We've sold down, down, down. And now you have this reversal coming back up. To me, it is not a true reversal until it starts to eat in to um, the prior resistance line or the prior support line once it starts to eat into that then it is a true reversal to me that's the way i look at it you guys might not look at it that way but there's been so many times that you see this this pattern comes down and it starts to form this wedge and it'll come up and maybe even touch the vwap line and then right back down right so um yeah, anyway, you'll see here in a second. Or if you traded this, you already you already know what happens. But that's this is what I was waiting on. I was waiting on it to roll off and cascade back down. And uh that doesn't happen. What is going on here? And it's again, it's the same the same motto. It, it it pops up. I go short. I'll set my target. Um, and I've developed what I what I call like a a feeling of okay, if it pauses, like right there, if it pauses, uh, and I don't like it, I'll just kill the trade and get out of it. Because i it if it if it doesn't run right to where my target is, well then there's a problem with the trade, and I I need to get out of it. Sometimes I'll hang on to it, but again, I'm only trading with five micros and I'm allowed a hundred. So sometimes I'll add to it. I really haven't felt the need to add today um, or yesterday for that matter. I think there's only two trades in this where I use um, uh, 10 micros or one whole mini contract. And that was it, right? So that was uh, in the morning session. That was it. I ended up five fifty-five to the to the positive on the morning session. I, it didn't make it to where I wanted to show you guys though. So that that pattern earlier on the spy, right? So it comes down. It comes down, and then as it bounces and starts to roll back up, I was expecting it to roll back off. And it did not, as you can see, it keep <laughs> it kept on marching all the way up to 
of the heavens there. Um, that is a big move. I know it may not look like it, but that is a huge that is a huge retracement move for a good uh, 11, 20, a good 20 minutes there that nothing but up. And uh, at this point, after, so I had a goal today. My, my, my original goal every day is $300 in, in each account. Okay. 300 bucks. Uh, my goal today was um, right around um, $2,000. I want it to get to $2,000 and that would give me $10,000 on the week. Okay. And I hit that on those videos and then I didn't trade again. Uh, I didn't trade again until... Um, this afternoon, and then I put in three or four trades, maybe even more than that, maybe six. It wasn't much more than six. If, um, and I increased that to another four hundred and uh, forty-three dollars. I was at I was at twenty forty-five on the day when I stopped recording the videos, and I added, I guess, another forty or four hundred four hundred dollars to that. But if we look here on the week. We look here on the week. It's two thousand. That's two thousand. That's two thousand. That was twenty one hundred. <laughs> and then uh, I played around in the after hours last night, and I found out. And then um, that's twenty four hundred. So that is a full five day week of solid green, and I will take that all day long. I I like it, and I will take it. Um, Something about something about using the micros and um it, it just I don't know. I it seems to work for me for some reason. And another thing I figured out about Apex, noticed on Apex's website or um their charts, right? Go back. Go back. So this is this is what it is. Now, this is not updated yet. It won't update for another, I think it updates a little bit after uh, 5 p.m. But I thought that once you requested a payout, the, um, the days would change. And they don't. They just keep adding up, right? So once uh, Wednesday gets here, that'll be 20 days for this one. And when... Thursday gets here, that'll be 20 days for the other three, which is 10 days since I requested a payout in each one of those. So if we're doing some math here, I will be able to request another 2000 in each of those, which will be another $8,000 payout to me. And I will not screw this one up. <laughs> I will not mess this one up. <laughs> uh, yeah. But but it's but here's the other curious thing. I've had these for 15. I've had well, this is day 17. So I've had this one for 17 days now, and I've had these other three for 16 days now. Um, and I don't think I've taken a red day in these accounts since I have had them, and I've been paid out on all four of them. So um, I've th I've got things going in the correct direction for the time being. And uh, that's pretty. That's a pretty dang good feeling to finally get it. And and again, Monday I could open this thing up. Sunday evening I could open this thing up and give it all back. Um, I don't think that's well. I'm not going to let that happen. But it's a very real possibility. You can any trade you get into, you could do some damage relatively quickly. Uh, and then. Um, Today is also seven days for these three. And then Monday will be seven days for these other three. So the grand scheme of things. So my birthday is in late November, right? And it would be so freaking awesome to give myself a heck of a birthday present in payouts uh, for that last half of November. It's there. I could do it. I could pull it off. It's just a matter of, will you? Will you be disciplined enough to stick to your plan 
not do stupid stuff and reap the rewards on the other side. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll see. Um, but as always, I, I truly appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, and I guess I will catch you next time. And enjoy your weekend. Take care.